Hi everyone and welcome to the second lecture of tree series. In this lecture, I will be explaining the solution for the problem tree matching. The problem says you are given a tree consisting of n nodes. Now a matching is a set of edges where each node is an endpoint of at most one edge. What is the maximum number of edges in a matching? So this is the input tree. These are the set of edges. Right, this is the tree basically. Now what we need to do is we need to choose a set of edges such that each node is present in at most one edge of the chosen edges, right? So we can choose this one and this one. Now one is in this edge and two is in this edge. Three is in this edge and four is also in this edge. We can't choose five because we have already have three in one of the edges. Right, so the maximum answer for this could be 2, right, which is given here. Now let us look at a bigger tree. Now, what are the possible options for each of the nodes? So for each of the nodes, I can either choose to have one of the edges containing that particular node as an endpoint in our matching, or I can choose not to. Right, so let's say for one, I'm Choosing to keep it as an endpoint for one of the edges in a matching. Let's say for this edge one and two, then two is also chosen, and I cannot have either of these edges. Right. Similarly, if I choose one and three, except uh, instead of one and two, then I cannot choose six and seven. Uh, the edge from three to three to six and three to seven. Now we will be using dynamic programming to break down the problem into smaller sub problems let's define a dp of x and x comma 0 as the number of matching for a particular subtree at node x when we are choosing to not keep any edge with the endpoint as x in our matching right so this is when uh, we are not x is not included and dp of 1 x comma 1 is the solution for the subtree at x when we are choosing to keep an edge containing the endpoint as x in our matching right this is when x is included let's say there is a node u with children v1 v2 and so on till vn Right now for dp of u comma zero, which is when I'm choosing none of these edges, this, 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 and all, then that would be the summation of all these sub problems, right? Because all of these would be in independent, and we could solve for all of these and sum them up and return for dp of u comma zero. This is basically max of summation from i equals to 1 till n max of dp of vi comma 1 and dp of vi comma 0. Right. And when we are choosing the edge, any of the edges from u to one of its children, let's say is v1, v2, and there is vj, let's say, and then there is vn. Let's say I'm choosing this edge. Right. Then the solution in this case for dp of u comma one when I'm choosing this edge would be the sum of the independent the problems this plus 
the independent sub problems of s children let's say w1 w2 w3 and so on right i, I can choose none of these edges so basically for this sub problem this becomes dp of vj comma zero right because i can choose none of these edges and for the rest of these it is max of vi comma one or vi comma zero because i can either choose an edge from this to his children or not right so let's write this solution is equal to dp of u comma one equal to let's say for uh, firstly write for uh, the node vj when you're choosing this edge is one plus one because we are choosing this edge so this will increase our matching size by one plus summation all all i equals to one till n max of dp v of i comma zero or dp of v i comma one right this minus max of dp of vj comma zero and dp of vj comma one right because uh, this is this part is basically which is, when i'm summing the sub problems the solution for all the sub problems for all the children and this i'm removing the solution for the particular vj node right and then i'm adding dp dp of vj comma zero right this is when i'm not choosing any of the edges from vj to any of its children now this i can write as dp of u comma zero right this is basically this thing so now i can rewrite dp of u comma one for a particular node vj as dp of u comma one is equals to one plus dp of u comma zero minus max of dp of u comma one on dp of u comma zero plus dp of but this is v j this is also vj dp of vj comma zero so this would be the solution when i am choosing an edge from vj now what we need to do is we need to take the max of all of these edges from of all of these edges we have to choose only one edge so we can take the max for the solution of choosing all of these edges and for this it would be dp of uh, sorry dp of u comma zero it would be the sum of the sub solutions for all the sub problems like now the so dp of v and zero represents the maximum matching of the subtree v such that we do not take any edge leading to some child v dp of v and one v comma one represents the maximum matching of subtree v such that we do take one edge leading to some child of v when we are not taking a child it will be summation of max for all child u comma v max dp of u comma zero and u comma one and we are taking an edge it will be one plus dp of u comma zero plus dp of v comma zero minus max of dp of u comma zero and u comma one now the dfs function with parameters node and the parent 
firstly when we are taking no edge for all the neighbors of v if it's not a parent we are firstly running the dfs right with the parameters u and the v as the parent now dp of v comma 0 we will add the max of dp of u comma 0 and u comma 1 right now when we are taking an edge for all the neighbors that are not its parent dp of v comma 1 will be max of dp of v comma 1 uh, because uh, we are trying to take the maximum uh, solution considering each of the edges and uh, dp of u comma 0 plus 1 plus dp of v comma 0 minus this this is the whole dfs function now firstly we have an array of vectors and a 2d dp array this is the dfs function and Firstly, we take the edges, the nodes, and we push the neighbors for each of these respectively. And then we run the DFS for the first node with the parent as zero. And then we print the solution for the first node when we are not taking any of the edges with one as an endpoint. And when we are taking one of the edges with one as an endpoint, right? So that's it. Make sure you like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.